So you're thinking of moving to the Lakewood Ranch area. Well, in today's video, we are going to be taking a deep dive into my computer and specifically going into the maps of Lakewood Ranch. And I'm going to be sharing with you where the nearest beaches are, where the nearest housing developments are, where the nearest restaurants are, and so much more so that you guys know everything about Lakewood Ranch before you make the move. And actually, if you guys stay till the end of this video, I will be reviewing a few tips that not many people know about Lakewood Ranch before they move. So without further ado, let's jump in and let's get started. So now that we have dived into my computer, if you are new to my channel, welcome to my channel. And if you guys want to know everything about the Sarasota Lakewood Ranch area, then smash that subscribe button and tap on the little bell icon down below so that you guys get notified every single time we drop our weekly videos. And so now let's talk a little bit about the pros and cons of Lakewood Ranch and some of the close amenities in that area. So if you're living in the Lakewood Ranch area, we are going to be using the center of Lakewood Ranch as far as like the distances and stuff like that. So if you're living in the Lakewood Ranch area, the nearest beach for you guys would be Lido Key Beach. And so that would be over here by St. Armand Circle, and that would be your closest beach. So now if you're in the center of Lakewood Ranch, that would take you about a 30 minute drive. So it's not too bad of a drive. And then if you guys are looking for shopping, so now if you guys are looking for grocery shops, you know, the biggest areas or the best areas would be like Target, um, Walmart, Publix, and then Whole Foods. So what's super nice about Lakewood Ranch is that we have University Town Center Mall, and I'll talk a little bit more about that, but this is where your Publix and your Whole Foods and your Target are located. And there's also a few other Publix in the uh, Lakewood Ranch area as well. So now if you're looking to go to downtown Sarasota for a fun day, or maybe you're meeting someone, if you live in Lakewood Ranch, it would be about a 20 minute drive from here to downtown Sarasota, where you can enjoy some of the you know amazing restaurants we have, some of the parks and stuff like that. Now, my favorite part about downtown Sarasota is this little park that not many people know about um, is Bayfront Park now. I love this because it has amazing views. And if we click on here, we'll see what we can find. But it has gorgeous bay views. And it's just a great walking area because it's a concrete sidewalk all the way around that you can walk around. So if you love walking and you enjoy the outdoors, I highly recommend you guys check out Bayfront Park. So now if you live in Lakewood Ranch and you want to go shopping, where do you guys go to shop if you live in Lakewood Ranch? And my answer to that would be the University Town Center Mall. So I did mention that earlier, but now is now we're going to talk a little bit more about the University Town Center Mall. Now it's made up of a whole bunch of different, uh, you know, or different stores, different restaurants and stuff like that. There's a Macy's. There's Dillard's, there's a whole bunch of other stores. It's two stories tall of all of these amazing different shops that you can go check into, bigger box retailers. And then also I really love this area because there's so many different like restaurant areas and stuff like that. The Target is located right there. We have Bed Bath & Beyond right there, Best Buy and so many more options. And soon there will be, um, there's going to soon be a pop stroke in this area. So if you guys know Tiger Woods, he's developing um, a mini golf, an extreme mini golf course that has food, restaurant, and it's going to have two 18 hole golf courses and it'll be placed over here. So that's going to be coming soon um, to the UTC area. So let's talk about the overall pros and cons of living in Lakewood Ranch. So the biggest pros to me of Lakewood Ranch is that if you have an active lifestyle, then this is the place for you. There's so many different walking paths, biking paths, biking trails, and just so many different things that you can go out and get active in. There's a bunch of swimming pools, tennis courts, you know, golfing, and you guys can become part of the Lakewood Ranch Country Club area where they have a whole bunch of different amenities that you can get outside and be active. The second thing I love about Lakewood Ranch is that it is close to so many different things. It's close to I-75 for one, so it's easy to get to Tampa. And then it's close to University Town Center Mall where we can go shopping, you can go buy some food, you can go to restaurants and stuff like that and just have a really good time. And then the other thing I really like about the Lakewood Ranch area is that it has so many golf courses, my favorite here is the Legacy Golf Course. It is an extremely pristine golf course as far as like course conditions and stuff like that. So I absolutely love it. And if you love golfing, then Lakewood Ranch is an excellent area. But with pros, there does come a few cons. So Lakewood Ranch is an established community now. It's been built up for, it's continuing to be built up, but it, there's a lot of homes already in there. And the biggest con for me is that it is a little bit more expensive compared to if you were to go elsewhere, like in the parish or just a little bit north. Um, it is more of, uh, you know, more expensive communities. So that's another thing to keep in mind. 
The other thing that's interesting about Lakewood Ranch that not many people know about is really the drive times. So if you live in this upper northeast corner of Lakewood Ranch and you want to get to UTC Mall or get to downtown Sarasota, you have to really cross through all of this congestion over here. And it just does take a lot more time to get through all that just because the roads are a little bit more windy and the traffic can be a little bit more congested compared to if you were over on the south side of Lakewood Ranch. So if you're looking in the Lakewood Ranch area, make sure that you know exactly where the house is and stuff like that so you don't get caught off guard by drive times. So now if you guys have kiddos or soon to have kiddos, now let's talk a little bit about schools. So now I'm gonna, going to refer to greatschools.org and this is their ratings. This is not my personal belief or anything, but these are the highest rated schools in the area. I will link uh, the greatschools.org uh, link down below so that you guys can go check it out for yourself. But the most highest rated uh, elementary school in the Lakewood Ranch area is the Robert Willis Elementary School. And if you're looking for the best high school in the Lakewood Ranch area, the highest rated high school, uh, uh, according to greatschools.org, would be the Lakewood Ranch High School area. So to sum up Lakewood Ranch in a nutshell, it is more of an established community. It, it can be a little bit more expensive, but there are a little bit more bigger homes in that area. There's a lot of different amenities. It's close to shopping. It's close to everything, close to I-75. So you can go to Tampa and it's also pretty close to beaches and Sarasota. The cons of the Lakewood Ranch area would be that there is a little bit more traffic congestion. It may take you a little bit longer to get to different places and that it can be just a little bit more expensive than other areas. So Keep that in mind when you're looking in the Lakewood Ranch area. So that wraps up today's video about Lakewood Ranch. Whether you're ready to move in nine days or 90 days, we are here for you. All you gotta do is reach out to us by calling, texting, or emailing us, and we are more than happy to help you make that move. And just like I mentioned earlier, our specialty is helping out-of-state buyers just like yourself make the transition as smooth as possible. If you guys have any other comments, questions, or concerns, put them in the comments section down below. I always love hearing from you guys. But until next time, I hope to see you guys all on my next video.